That was a huge barracuda. Ooh. Hola everyone, welcome back to another fishing session in and around Barcelona. You know what's the problem with fishing videos? You keep watching YouTubers outfish you video by video and you're losing confidence when you only manage to catch a few or none. Oops. Well, I'm here to help my dear friend. This will be a confidence booster for you. Just watch. So I'm on a quest to getting my feet wet, literally. Oh my... Fantastic. Big wave just came in. Okay, right leg is quite all right, but left leg, yeah. Anyway, I have another shoe, another socks, everything. So it's kind of prepared that these things can happen around here. I'm on a hunt to find new places where I can fish around Barcelona in the coming winter. Near here, I managed to get a barracuda a couple of months ago. There you go. Which was super thrilling on a light tackle with 0.17 liter, around four pounds. But right now, I'm a bit further away because I'm looking for more depth. There you go. Vamos, make me proud. Truth be told, we are not blessed with great deeps around here. 8 to 10 meters is considered good. From what I see from pros on YouTube, around 15 would be nice. 20, 25-ish is great. But it is what it is. Fish doesn't know around here there are deeper water elsewhere in the world. Ugh. That being said, I try with all my lures and all my heart, but nothing cooperates. So I move on to the beach with the same result. It's good to see some nice weather though, just after storm Kieran. Quick note in my imaginary notebook that fishing is probably not so great after some cold weather storm. Not in autumn anyway. Next up is rather shallow, but it's extremely pretty. Here is a quick note that rock fishing requires some athleticism. athleticism. So please be extra careful and show this video to anyone who doubts that fishing is a sport. More on this a few minutes later. So even though it's shallow, I stay because... I mean, what do I know? I can see bait fish. Yeah, just in front of me. Then... Come on! There are like... Hundreds, hundreds of bogas. No predators around here? That's right, there are no predators. Or I just can't trigger those famous predatory instincts. Nevertheless, it was a worthy spot to stop. Oh, I can't wait to be back here in the summer. But this is why I like going around everywhere you know because oh, this is how you discover places to fish the wind picks up just a tad as i approach to the next and final stop that's all man it's okay <laughs> okay I think we need something that goes a little deeper so yeah let's go And it was a good call because... Oh god, that was a huge barracuda. That was a huge barra. Following it for the very last second. And that was all the action I managed to squeeze out from this day on the sea. But worry not, because here in Catalonia, I can just pop in my car and get to a mountain lake relatively easily to see if bass is up for dinner. Nature around here is unbelievably amazing. 
This is my way of mar y montaña, which means sea and mountains. You will find this in tapas bars generally a skewer with wild mushrooms and shrimps, or even paellas come with the same combination. Wow. But also, this could be a way of fishing. So low. Last time I've been here, last year actually, almost the same time. This was all covered with water. It is what it is. I'm gonna use the fat ika because uh, it's weedless. There are a lot of sunken trees underwater, though I only know very little about this place. I had a few bites last year and it was all very promising, so I intend to test it properly this autumn and winter. Remember what I said a few minutes earlier about fishing is physical. That I should be avoiding closer to the water because obviously it's not idea. <laughs> I'm throwing rocks into the water and rolling them in. It's, yeah, it's not an easy terrain to walk. Yeah, yeah, there's, look at that, look at that. So many, like so many shells. Probably boy. So, that could be anything. The rollback. Probably it is boar. I don't know if you can see that, but like massive carbs down there. We're not gonna be interested in the Ica. We're gonna scare it away, but. No, I'm not scared. But as I keep moving forward, I see something much more interesting. That was a big bass. Well, that one bass isn't really interested, but it is so close to the shore, I pick my favorite topwater lure to save the day. Let me go. Make me proud.
Well, at this point, I don't think I will tease you anymore, and I'm sure you know already. You won't see any fish from me today, no matter what I throw at them. Just keep ignoring my efforts. So nothing else left, just to get out of here in one piece before the dark. Whew, okay. Move, move, move. Of course. Where is my headlight? In the car. Does it have a good battery in it? You would ask. No, of course not. Yeah, there was a bore up there, which is fine. There's plenty of distance. I'm gonna go this way anyway. So. The only thing is, I'm not, I don't really want to go close to the forest. But I'm making so much noise. Probably I don't smell nice either. So. So like a whole day of fishing. Oop. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh it is beautiful. Probably you can't see, but it is, it is fantastic. Let's go. to go back down there. Okay. Let's run through the forest then. How do I end up always shooting the Blair Ridge project? I call this passion. Yes, all good, all good. Got everything, the keys, yeah, road is in one piece. Okay. Oh, almost there. Yep. Ah, oh, great. Please, learn from my mistake. I absolutely misjudged the way back, but I was lucky enough to avoid any serious damage in me or in my gear, though. Oh no. I lost my nut somewhere. I cannot really go back. I wouldn't be able to find it. So that was it for today. I told you it is inspirational because now you go out there and surely you can top this fishing performance. Let me know how you did in the comments. Many thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Take care. Adios.